Hi everyone, it's Gina with Peonies of America. Well, my mid-season and first year garden peonies are coming to a close. We had over three inches of rain last night and I came out to check them and I deadheaded all of these. Um, they were already bloomed and pretty much laying on the ground, but I did get some really nice stems out of them. And I was able to get this massive Paul M. Wild on a really thick, nice stem. Um, and that's just part of it. I, did, I only took off uh, just a couple leaves and the plant was just massive. Uh, I also got um, a beautiful Kansas, a full double, very roughly. And it was uh, my uh, m most prolific bloomer along with the Marie Lume One, which has the yellow stamens all through it. and kind of looks like a lemon glow out there. Has a wonderful fragrance and big blooms, big tall blooms on good stems. I uh, can't wait to see this, uh, this peony plant get more mature. I think the stems and, the, and the, uh, the whole bloom will stand out very, very beautifully. And uh, one that bloomed a little bit later uh, was uh, my uh, sorbet. I finally came out about uh, three or four days ago and it started to bloom. So these are definitely a mid-season blooming peony plant. The sorbet, the Kansas, and the Paul M. Wild are more of an early to, to mid-early. Sorbet, uh, mid to mid-late for me here in southern Oklahoma. It grows on 7B. And again, here's the sorbet. You can get a better look at it. The different color petals on the bottom, and then it comes up a little higher with uh, another, another uh, color of petaling there. Just a beautiful, beautiful, unique little bloom. Um, and I had the Mother's Choice out here. I had added uh, 25 more, and they start out real blush. This one is still blooming. It's got some blush left in it, and then it turns to a beautiful cream on very good stems. And then, of course, the Catherine Fontaine is, this is a new one for me, and absolutely gorgeous. Really held on to its color. Uh, it keeps the blush petals at the bottom, cream through the middle, and then again, that beautiful apricot pink on the top. This is a big, full double uh, peony bloom, the Catherine Fontaine, and I will be offering this one new this year on my website uh, for bare root purchases delivery in the fall for fall planting. I'm going to add more of these. I love them. Uh, and I had a Duchess de Moore just start to open up. These are my late bloomers for me here. Um, they are a uh, mid-late blooming peony. Uh, and one of the best fragrances uh, ever for a peony plant. The Mon Jules Ellie are fi uh, finishing up. They are a mid-season blooming plant for me. The weather has been much cooler this year, so they've lasted longer for me. My peony season is very early here uh, in southern Oklahoma because of the, the warm weather. And um, here's another sorbet, and it started to seed pot out, and the seed pots are gorgeous. But anyway, I just wanted to show you some of the gorgeous blooms that we, uh, we were able to deadhead and get some great photos from. And again, it's Peonies of America, and this was my first year peony uh, plants in this garden and I loved uh, taking you along with me on this journey it was great and um, we'll definitely do it again uh, one I forgot to point out was the uh, seashell very dainty anemone style with the yellow stamens inside and they actually were on a, uh, a thinner uh, stem but they held up very well um, I have the uh, white roses back here uh, and I have actually I have four of those plants that I have and they kind of finish keep things going out here for me but I wanted you to uh, wanted to show you the seed pod on the Mar Marie Lim one beautiful and I still have some to bloom and there's the the seashell I just thought those looked really neat and then I have some late blooming ones here but there it is, and we've had over three inches of rain, and we are expected another inch this evening. And I just thought I'd come out here and deadhead and pull any of the peonies that were on the ground. 
Thanks for following along. Bye-bye.